Hey, what's going on, you Sec Plus preppers? This is IT Dojo Security Plus Questions of the Day. I am Colin Weaver, and each day I'm going to give you two practice questions for you to ponder and think about. So let's get right to it. Okay, here comes question number one. Which of the following terms best describes a situation where you have a large number of systems that are typically compromised systems that are working together as a collective in order to go in and disrupt a system's ability to perform operations normally? So here's your answer choices. Give it a look. If you need to, click pause because as soon as you click play again, we're going to start breaking it down and talking about each one. First option there is a buffer overflow attack. That's not what we're looking for here. A buffer overflow is, is a software issue where you've got data being written to, to, to an area in memory and it's, it's improperly checked and overruns into an adjacent area of memory causing system instability or system compromise. Uh, that's not what we're looking for right here. Second option is an SQL injection attack. Again, no, that's an attack against your SQL database or somebody's SQL driven website. Uh, lots of information can be stolen and terrible things can happen from SQL injection and do, uh, but uh, that's not what we're looking for right here as far as the definition. Third option we see is a spam flooding attack, uh, spam or unsolicited commercial email. Um, no, again, not what we're looking for. Um, that's, that's not the topic that, that's, that this question's asking about. Fourth option on the list is a distributed denial of service attack. Ding, 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 ding. That's exactly what this definition is, uh, where you have a whole bunch of computers, probably computers that have been compromised uh, through some sort of malicious code that are now all working as a collective unit to go in and launch an attack against some poor soul that's out there. Um, and they are quite problematic on the internet today. So uh, that's exactly what this definition is talking about. And then the very last option on the list is a man in the middle attack. Um, no, again, that's not what we're looking for. A man in the middle attack is, is any sort of circumstance where an attacker can manage to position themselves in between uh, two otherwise legitimate nodes and, and then be able to intercept that traffic and either observe it or manipulate it, modify it, or in some cases simply just throw it away. And, uh, but that would be a denial of service attack. It just wouldn't be a distributed denial of service attack if we are going to do that. So best answer here and from a, just a dex, uh, textbook kind of definition perspective is a distributed denial of service attack. All right, question number two today is which of these items are shortcomings of a network-based intrusion detection system? Give those a look and click pause if you need to. And when you're ready, click play and we'll talk about what the answer is. Okay, first choice up there you see it talks about reducing the detection time for an attack. Uh, actually, no, it, the network-based intrusion detection increases the detection time for an attack because uh, rather than trying to do some kind of post-mortem analysis on packet structures, the IDS is right there watching the network for you and sees the attack as it happens and can fire off an event and let somebody know. Next option says it's unable to preserve evidence of an attack. Uh, that's exactly not true. Um, IDSs can preserve evidence of an attack. In fact, they are frequently turned to in order to give us evidence of what it took place in an attack. So that's not the right answer here either. Third choice says it cannot inspect encrypted payloads. Uh, that is absolutely a problem. If you have traffic that is being encrypted using SSL or TLS or things traveling through an IPsec VPN or something going over uh, secure shell connections, anything that's going to make use of encryption, IDSs are limited in their ability to simply kind of say, hey, there goes some encrypted traffic. They really can't do much beyond that. And uh, it's, it's a known thing that sometimes attackers will intentionally encrypt their traffic once they've gained a foothold in your network in order to go in and not have an IDS be able to see the evidence of what they're doing. So that is a shortcoming of network-based intrusion detection. So that's absolutely one of the answers that we're looking for here. Next option on the list says that an IDS can't read base64 encoded messages. Uh, no, that's not true. Uh, they can do that. And then the final option, and since we need one more, it's probably going to be it, it says that a network-based IDS is not able to go in and actually uh, monitor uh, services or processes on an actual server. And that's true. Uh, the, all the network-based IDS is going to be able to do is go in and look at what's going on on the network. Stuff that's actually occurring on a, on a node, on a server, on a user's computer, what have you, whether it's you know, processes that are running or you know, people trying to go in and make privilege changes or, or do things to certain files, IDSs can't see any of that stuff. So uh, that is definitely a shortcoming. And that's really in the world of host-based intrusion detection where those guys have their chance to shine. So the answers that we're looking for here are its inability to inspect encrypted traffic and its inability to see what's going on on a local system. So on a server or a host or something like that. All right, so there you have it. First question today was basically just what's the definition of a distributed denial of service attack? Uh, definitely something that you want to make sure that you know for the Security Plus exam. 
And then the last question was, what are the shortcomings of network-based intrusion detection? So I hope that you found these questions helpful for you as you were studying. Uh, there are others, so please find those and click on those and, and watch those as well. And I'm going to do these every single day, so please make sure that you click on the subscribe button so you get these questions every day for you as you're prepping for your exam. And also, somewhere down there, there's a like button. Be sure to click on that for me. Uh, that will be cool. And I'm going to see you tomorrow.